EPS or earnings per share is a crucial metric in the field of finance and stock markets. It is used by investors to gauge the profitability of a company. In simpler terms, it is the portion of a company's profit that is allocated to each outstanding share of common stock. There are two types of EPS, basic EPS and diluted EPS. Basic EPS is calculated by dividing the net profit or loss attributable to common shareholders by the weighted average number of common shares during the period. This gives an indicator of the company's profitability on a per share basis. On the other hand, diluted EPS takes into account all the convertible securities that could potentially be converted into common shares. Essentially, it reflects the worst case scenario with respect to share dilution and is always less than or equal to the basic EPS. Diluted EPS is preferred over basic EPS for its conservative approach. It is noteworthy to mention that while companies may seek to inflate their EPS numbers, disclosures of diluted securities bring transparency, enabling the investors to make informed decisions. The blog discusses the case study of a company to illustrate the calculation and significance of both basic and diluted EPS. The case study reveals that although the basic EPS was higher, the diluted EPS gave a clearer picture of the company's financial health. Therefore, it's always advisable for investors to look at the diluted EPS along with the basic EPS before making an investment decision. More so, investors should undertake thorough research beyond just EPS figures to understand a company's performance and potential. Investors should also understand that EPS is a relative measure. It is best used when comparing it to EPS from other companies. Comparing the EPS from one period to the next can also help identify trends, either positive or negative, in earnings. The process of calculating basic and diluted EPS can be complicated as it includes various adjustments and assumptions. Therefore, an understanding of the methods and the possible bias inherent in these calculations is essential for accurate interpretation. In conclusion, EPS is a highly useful but one-dimensional metric. It should be utilized in conjunction with other measures and within the larger context of a company's financial statement to make a comprehensive assessment. While basic EPS provides a straightforward measure of profitability, diluted EPS accounts for potential share dilution, providing a more conservative and realistic profitability metric. Both are essential to make a balanced and informed investment decision.